So good morning everyone, how are we this morning? I hope you're having a good day. So we'll just say hello, see how everyone is. We'll pop the message on. So I hope you're having a good day because uh, in Ireland here, I went out this morning and it was freezing, minus seven in the car. That's minus seven degrees centigrade. Uh, so I just thought, it's time for breakfast. So we'll just make ourselves a nice breakfast. If you're online watching me, don't be afraid to say hello. Um, obviously, uh, the more people I see I like, the more we can say hello. But again, first, coffee. Always coffee first thing in the morning. So I'm going to make this breakfast sandwich. It's one that I would normally make at Christmas. Um, it's been something that I've had for about the last seven or eight years. It's something different. Uh, it's got black pudding, sausage. It's just got everything that it needs. So you have black pudding, you have sausage, you have bacon, you have eggs, you have relish. You've got a great bit, a little bit of grated cheese, and you have some burger buns. Now the burger buns that I use, these are flory burger buns. They're like a water for blah, so they're nice and thick, and they take in all the flavour. So we're just using butcher sausages and a couple of slices of rashers, and we have some eggs and some black pudding. For anybody who doesn't know what black pudding is, that there's like a blood sausage, so it's actually made with blood that's been soaked and mixed with uh, different types of cereals, and then it's boiled, which gives it this hard flavour. So it's already been cooked, so the sausages and the bacon are the only things that are raw. So now, folks, uh, we'll just get into this. So we'll turn our pans on. It's a bit early, so we'll just flick some pans on. It's time. It is time for breakfast. So I don't know what time it is where you are, but here in Ireland, it is two minutes past ten. So don't be trying this, by the way, at home, folks. Don't put your fingers into the pan. I've sort of got myself as best as fingers. Now, what we'll do is we'll get a bowl. And we're going to cut the sausages and we're going to cut the skin off them. Just like that. Slide the knife down them. We're going to take the skin. We'll just discard it and we'll put the sausage meat into the bowl. Now it's normally, I normally do two sausages per person and a couple of slices of bacon. Uh, one egg again onto the roll and I have about three or four slices of black pudding so somewhere in the region of about 100 grams of black pudding now, like i say we'll just de-skin these again these are butcher sausages they're not sausages they're not frankfurters or they're not hot dog sausages they are butcher sausages they, um, this wouldn't work as well with frankfurters or hot dog sausages so we'll just pop that in there. We'll mix that up a little bit. Again, this is the messy bit. Then we'll take our black pudding, just crumble it up. And we'll put it in. And then we'll mix this all together, just breaking up the black pudding and the sausages and just making sure that they're well mixed. This takes a couple of minutes, but it is, it is definitely worth it in the end. So just, like I say, get it all mixed up. And we'll just leave it to sit for a few seconds. Try and make sure that the black pudding's well distributed amongst the sausages. As you can see, I've gotten mine well mixed in. We'll just put that back in there now, just get my hands are rinsed. Remember folks, you're using raw meat, so make sure that your hands are cleaned. Well cleaned because uh, you obviously don't want to give anybody food poisoning, especially the week before Christmas. i just dry my hands off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray a little bit of oil just onto my pans. You don't really need an awful lot of oil because there is quite a bit of oil in the sausages and uh, that will make it that little less, less healthy. 
we we'll just take the side plates. We'll take our sausage mixture. We'll just split it down the middle. Like I said, this is enough for two. And we'll form these into burger patties. So just the best way to do it, I find, is just roll them into a ball. Just like that. And then squish them down. So like I say, this is what you get... This is what I have for Christmas breakfast. Uh, again, handy to have, easy to make, because you can make the burger the patties or the sausage patties the night before. And we'll just give our hands another rinse and have them in the fridge. So it's really just a case then of taking them out and cooking them. So, uh, like I say, you can have them made up. The bacon's already sliced and you just use a couple of pans and let's get them cooked. So we'll transfer over to our pans and we'll have a look. So take your burger pot, take your patty, just set it on. And we'll let that cook for a few minutes. So cook it five to six minutes or four to five minutes on each side, just depending on how well you like them done. These are sausages, so they're actually minced meat. So I would be making sure that they're cooked the whole way through. What I normally do with mine is that I would cook them through then I pop them into a, back into a bowl and then I put them into the air fryer and that just keeps them warm um, and helps them finish off cooking. So again, I thought I was organized this morning, but everything's all over the place. So let's just push this down. Now, while they're cooking, what we're going to do, we're going to get some bacon on. In fact, what we'll do first is we'll cut our baps open. So what we'll do, we'll put some bacon on. The bacon will take a lot less time than the sausages, but I like mine crispy, so... So I like mine crispy, so it's just a question of letting your bacon cook all through. Now we'll go back to the main screen. We'll just take our burger buns, take a bread knife or a short small knife, just cut them through. Now with these here, as I say, I like to serve mine with burger relish. So you can use, this one here is just from Super Value in Ireland. So it is, so I just use this one. But first, I'll butter my rolls. So obviously in, it's Ireland you're in, so it's fresh Kerrygold butter. We don't use anything other than Kerrygold. Well, I don't anyway. So. Don't be afraid to put the butter on it. It does help with the flavour. So you give your butter. Now obviously, um, I have two young children who don't really like relish, so they would be taking uh, tomato ketchup or any type of brown sauce that you wish that you like with this. So just on the base. And just spread it around. Just check these. And just flip this over. As you can see, they're starting to brown off, starting to cook nicely. With a touch and they're cooking through now so like i said in a few minutes time what i'm going to do i'll take them and i'll pop them into the air fryer and we'll see how we go from there so the, the air fryer just cooks them through to the middle it also keeps them warm while you're cooking your eggs and things like that you just get plate.
And we're going to pop our burger buns onto the plate. Let's just put this bacon over. Again, if you want to go healthier with this here, you can trim the fat off the bacon. You can use low fat sausages, but I mean, it's Christmas morning. Let's be honest about it. Santa's been working all night and he would like love a proper good breakfast when he comes home from after delivering all this stuff. Because that's today, because I'm making this at Christmas, it is called Santa's Burger. Again, folks, coffee. Cheers. We'll just heat the air fire up. Now, because, like I say, you're only keeping these warm, you don't need the air fryer at a high temperature. Our bacon's just starting to brown there and crystal off, which will be lovely. We'll set that up front there, and then we'll get a grater, and we'll get some cheese, and we'll grate some cheese. Now, you only really need the tiniest bit of cheese for these, because... There's not a, you don't want it overtaking all the flavor. I know you watch some people on live stream who have everything organized. I don't. I believe in doing it the way that I would be doing it if I was here on my own. So, yes, obviously prep is good if you're doing a lot of meals, but this is just a breakfast. Um, if you're doing it for four or five, you can do it from the night before. But I, I'm only making for two here, so I just do it as I go along. And of course the cheese does not want to go back into the paper. Put the cheese back into the fridge. Now I don't know how much cheese you go through at home, but I, as I say, have two young children under six. And to be honest, we go through about four large blocks of cheese a week. They love cheese. As you see, our bacon is just nice and starting to brown off. Again, we're back on to coffee. So folks, um, if you can think of anything that you'd like me to make on live stream or you'd like me to make on my channel, let me know. Again, if you're watching this and you're enjoying it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help me for further videos and it does mean that I, I can make further videos for you. And just flip these over again. Oh, they're just coming along nicely. You see the color on them? That's the sausage coming through. So what we'll do is we'll just check the temperature of these. And folks, this is a thermometer for a meat thermometer. If you don't have one of these here, it's one of the best things that you can buy for your kitchen. Because it does help, pardon me, that you know what temperature your internal meat's being cooked to. Um, I've been using this one here for about three or four years. I'll leave a link to it in the description below once we finish. And if you want one, just go over and pick one up. Even if you don't use my link, these are one of the best things that you can have in your kitchen. So just give it a wipe. Our sausages are nearly cooked. We'll just pop that to the side. Let's see what this is saying. Okay, so um, I'm hoping that everything's going okay. I keep getting these notifications that there's an issue with my YouTube, but we'll see. So, we'll take our burgers, and we'll just pop them in to there. We'll sprinkle some of the cheese over the top. Going into the air fryer, this will help the cheese melt, and then 
it'll give you a nicer flavor for your burgers. So, our bacon's just coming along nicely. We'll give our eggs a few minutes. We'll pop the bacon in in a few minutes with the, the burgers as well. As you can see, there's lots of fat coming off the bacon. This is great if you want to use it and have it for roast potatoes. People often wonder why you say that there, but uh, any fat that comes off meat, lard or anything like that there is always great for roast potatoes. We'll just go back to the meal screen. So folks, I hope you're enjoying this video. Like I said, um, always coffee. Now, with this breakfast on Christmas morning, we always make a large pot of tea because it's for breakfast, tea is normally the best, but I drink an awful lot of coffee, far too much probably for my own good. So like I say, folks, I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope you enjoy what I do. Um, these, I enjoy it. It gives me something to think about. Uh, it keeps me occupied. And to be honest, it's nice to take what knowledge you have off to people. As I say, I've been doing this for a lifetime. Well, cooking for a lifetime, I wouldn't say I've been live streaming it's quite awkward standing in front of the camera so like i say folks hopefully that i can give some of my knowledge off to you and you can pick it up as you go along just picking up a little bit brown it off yeah uh, everything's probably nearly ready the only thing left to do i think is cook the eggs and sort of tidy up but the tidying up i can do once I switch the camera off. That's the great thing about having a dishwasher. As much as you want to tidy up, everything just goes into the dishwasher. So we're going to spray a little more oil onto the pan. Because obviously we're going to fry our eggs here. And use the same frying pan that you cook the sausages or the bacon in. It does help with the flavour of the eggs. Um, I find the eggs can be quite bland. So they do need a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of flavour. So as I say, I have, um, I'm going to use the flavour from the sausages, from the black pudding, just to help cook the eggs. So our bacon's done. I think we'll pop it into the air fryer along with the uh, sausages. as you can see folks the cheese is melted look they're perfectly cooked through and we'll just pop the bacon on top just to crispen that off a little bit and take some of the oil off it back in the air fryer for two or three minutes now if you don't have an air fryer obviously you can use your oven but put it on low or onto your grill just turn that pan off Ugh, disaster, of course. Now, obviously, this isn't my main kitchen. As you can see, my main stove is over there. But this is the one that I use for live streaming because everybody can see it. It's actually extremely hard to set up my the way my kitchen's set up. It's extremely hard to get the cameras over the top. So, we'll just go to... And we'll just break the egg in. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. So now that the egg is starting to cook, we'll just start to serve up our uh, burger bobs. Pardon me. Let's bring in our rolls. So. So 
So we'll just pop them up there. We'll take our tongs and our knife. Our bacon back in. So you take your burger patty or your sausage and black pudding patty, pop it on top along with some of the grated cheese. Make sure you get all the cheese from the edge of the dish because this is all flavour. Then on top of that there, we're going to add our two slices of bacon. Now beans obviously come traditional with an Irish fry, not an Ulster fry, an Irish fry. But I find that this is a bit messy. If you do want beans on it, please don't be afraid to add them over the top, just a spoonful of when you finish here. But it does make it rather messy. I'll just put that egg over and get it cooked. So, we'll just, you see the top of this. On there. This one here I'm making without bacon because it's for someone else who doesn't like bacon. I know, how can anybody in the world not like bacon? We just check that our eggs cooked, it's nice and soft through. Is I'll actually just take this one off. And we'll pop it to the side. So now, as you can see, our burger bun's done. If you want to put ketchup, mayonnaise, anything else on top of this, please feel free. It is obviously your burger and it is for Christmas. So we'll just pop that on top like that. And this is where it gets messy. We just cut it through. And as you can see, the egg yolk is running down. That is the only way to eat this breakfast with the yolk runny with the burger and all sausage hot and everything else done now folks like i said that's the end of the stream i hope you've enjoyed it maybe you've learned something maybe give you something to try um and like i said thanks very much for watching again don't forget to hit the subscribe button it does help with my videos and with my channel and if, like i said if you need anything else just give me a nod and we'll make something for you Thanks very much for watching. Again, cheers and good luck and I hope to see you in my further videos.